First question, and I love this question, Michelle. She says, time travel and the effects it has on lives. Can we alter our past timeline and see results today? What are the residual efforts, effects, excuse me, on our lives and the lives of those we cross paths with? Okay, so the cool thing about parallel realities and time travel and past, present, and future is in essence, everything is actually happening right now. Everything. The whole entire universe only exists in the now. The now feels like it leaves a residue, right? It feels, understand that it said, I said it feels. It feels like it leaves a residue of, of something that would be in the past. It feels like there is a future projection that could occur based in what the present moment holds because of the field of possibilities and the field of Akashic space, right? The Akashic space is almost like that blueprint or that stamp of everything that has occurred that is kind of like infinite possibilities exist in the quantum um, reality and the Akashic records exist in the infinite possibilities of reality as well as more of like noted noted experiences and possible experiences because the universe is kind of filed in two spectrums. So when we're in the present moment and we affect cause, okay, when we do something in the present moment, it has a visceral cataclysmic ripple effect in the universe everywhere that changes the potentials and it changes the Akashic space. It has a full inclusive change, which is why I will only always teach you guys the quantum perspective of, of this journey. And the reason why is because it's all inclusive. It's all inclusive. Everything that happens has a reaction in the universe. Everything that you cause has an effect. You may not feel it in your now space, in your conscious focus, but depending on fra how fractal your, co your, your consciousness is, is going to determine how viable your now feels. The more present you are, the more that in the now moment you can affect change in the future realities and you can check you can affect changes in the past realities. Now, no time and space is required in alignment. No time and space is required in alignment. So when you get into alignment with something that is right with your soul, right for your journey, right for you, then it alters time and space accordingly to the now moment because everything is just a branch of the now moment, everything. So if I'm out of alignment and then I shift my alignment and I am now in alignment. And when I say in alignment, guys, what I'm saying is, is um, I'm present. I'm um, in the higher realms of frequencies, joy, love, passion, excitement, you know, all of those spaces where I'm not in that dense level of vibration of resentment and grief and humiliation and shame and guilt and all those things, which cause this kind of anchor effect or pulling effect, right? That happens, it kind of shrinks your energy field down and makes you feel like you're going into the past. But what it's actually just doing is it's kind of, it's it's just kind of bringing the, the energy into density and it's creating more matter around it because it's the, it's the absence of light, okay? So it's going to like become kind of like a little black hole, almost like a feeling space. It's going to appear let it affects the present moment, which it never, ever, 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 ever does. Your past never, ever affects your present moment, ever. But your belief systems, your operating system, your fractal focus, your traumas, your insecurities, your judgments, all of your lower vibrations that are housed within your field will bring your focus into unprocessed, unseen, unfiltered, un unrequited data that needs answers. So it's almost like, what's the worst thing in the world for you guys? It's about unfinished business or unanswered questions. The idea of a mystery is what holds us all back. The idea of curiosity and confusion and mystery and what if and why is the number one thing that holds us in the past, okay? 
when we have understanding of what the past is for us in the present moment, we can utilize that to rebalance and realign with ourselves, which is why I'm writing you guys a new workshop called Vision Quest that is no more shadow work. Some of you guys are going, oh, she's teaching shadow work again. I am not teaching shadow work. I am teaching cleanup of the shadow space. We are in demolition mode. We are getting to the 10th floor. The only way to get to the 10th floor is to unanchor ourselves from the lower frequencies. And in order to do that with high level of joy and awareness and love is to go down and clean the basement. So we're cleaning the basement right now in our, our teacher training. It's happening very quickly because when you actually move out of mystery and confusion and avoidance and separation and judgment, you move right into the present moment. And when you move right into the present moment, you are the controller, you are the vendor, you are the um, creator of time and space. When you are not in that creative space, you are the victim of time and space when you are being held back. So when you correct your now, which is all you ever have, it changes everything, which means it changes the past, no matter what your body's telling you about the past, your body is not the past, okay? Your body holds onto a memory of the past to keep you focused on survival issues, okay? That's the only reason it holds onto the past is, okay, that was dangerous, don't put your hand in that fire again, blah, 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 okay? So the body holds on to the evidence or the marker or the ghost of the past in its cellular membranes and its muscle tissue in its atomic space as a recording mechanism to give you data of experiences that you have had and still have in the present moment. Okay. So you'll notice, let me give you an example of that because this is a really great quantum question. Um, Frank, this one could actually go on YouTube. Um, the, the understanding of the idea of who you are in the present moment and having access to all of that moment is the most powerful force in the universe. Not having access to that moment leaves you in the most victim perpetrator space in the universe because now you are at the effect of cause and effect. You are not creating cause and effect. There is no moment except this now moment, but because of us fractaling our consciousness and leaving our inner child alone on the timeline and you know, moving from lack of acceptance, intense resistance, um, disassociation, PTSDs, traumas, unfinished business, incompleted projects, um, mysteries, confusions, doubts, shames, guilts. We, we don't move all the way ahead in the present moment, or at least we don't have the, the, the feeling. We are always in the present moment, but we don't have the feeling of being completely in the present moment. You know, when you're talking to someone and they're like, you're not here with me, you're zoning out. And they're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm here. Now I can hear. Or you read a page and then you realize that you were reading a page, but you weren't actually present, okay? Or, you know, you have a confusion that doesn't let you move forward because of that twin flame 10 years ago. Did he love me? Did he not love me? You know, is there a chance for us? You're not going to be able to be completely who you choose to be in the present moment if you have those questions, okay? But here's how you know that you have cleared a lot of that is you will be in the present moment and you will feel different. You will be different. You will see different. You will taste different. All of those things about you will be different. And you might rendezvous with someone who reminds you of the past and reminds you of who you used to be. And the evidence that you are completely in the present moment now is that you feel no trigger by their judgments or assumptions of who you used to be. There is no judgment. There's no defense mechanism. There's no needing to prove your new, you know, woke state of being. There is just an understanding that this person is still living in their blueprint of that Akashic space of the character you played 15 years ago. But that's their story without any projection, without any negative reflection on it. And it's just feels like peace. It feels like understanding. It feels like serenity. It feels like awareness. That's how you know you completely shifted into the present moment. Now, until you do that, you will work on creating this new reality in the present moment, but it will continue to affect the probabilities of the future and it will affect the memories or the signature of the Akashic space in the past. But when you change the present moment, even the Akashic space changes because the blueprint is all connected. Everything is connected to itself, 
Okay, so hopefully that gave you an understanding. So when you change the present moment, all of you, all of you, you affect change on all planes, on every parallel reality that you could imagine, every past timeline, every future probability. That's why when people come to me and they say, you know, Jess, tell me what's going to happen next week. And I say, oh, well, which version of you next week? Because when you look over there at that idea, this probability pops up. When you look over there at this idea, that probability pops up. When you look at the past, you become the version of your past, which means your future probabilities change. So let me ask you a different question. Who do you choose to be? And then let me look at those probabilities and then let's line up with your state of being in the now moment that could produce those tangible results because psychic energy is about reading the most stimulated timelines. And that's why you'll get a timeline of this happening, but that's only because you've been chronically vibrating in that space of that lack of now moment. Okay. I love these nerdy questions. They're so awesome.